All right, welcome to episode three of the Sea Doo series, and today we're going to put the Sea Doo Spark through its paces to see if it can handle two adults. Roll the intro. Hey guys, Mr. Mitch here, and we've got another Sea Doo Spark review today. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it through its paces on weight limits. So what it says on the jet ski, max weight of 160 kilos. So that not only includes your passengers, but also any bags or any other items that you do take with you. So we're gonna try first of all with my wife, who's got a combined weight with me of 130 kilos. So well under that 160. And then I'm gonna try it with a friend who's gonna push that weight limit up to around 170 kilos of combined weight. Um, I'm not sure what that reverts to in pounds because we're based in Australia, but let's see how we go. To the water. Okay, so just got back from being out on the Sea Doo Spark with Rach, and we put it through its paces with 130 kilos, so the two of us, and as you can probably see in the footage, it's handled it really, really well. Um, the conditions were pretty good, but at 130 kilos with the two of us, it was still really good with acceleration. We are still able to do turns without falling off um, or feeling like we were gonna fall off. The only downside at this point is that the seat definitely is taken up. Rach had to keep asking me to move forward because she was falling off the back. So let's move on to number two with 170 kilos. Okay, so we made it to the water. I'm here with Rob from Sexual Mastery. What's up? <laughs> and we're gonna put the ski through its paces to see if it can handle our weight. How heavy are you, Rob? Uh, about 95 kilos. Bullshit. How heavy are you really? I am about 95. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, so we've got a combined weight of around 170 kilos. This thing can take 160, so let's put it through its test. We've got pretty good conditions, so we shouldn't fall in to the ski. And we're back. So all in all, that was probably pretty good because we had perfect conditions for the two of us with all that weight. However, to get out of the water, it was like And then any sort of wake, I wouldn't feel comfortable. I'd feel like we'd tip over. So if you are looking at buying a Sea Doo Spark, they're really ideal for one person. Two people, maybe get a small person, maybe a child, but anything close to that 160 kilos, is no, 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 it's no good. So. And in conclusion, guys, as you've just seen, it is possible to have two adults on a Sea Doo Spark 2 up 90 horsepower. However, personally, I'd advise against it. Um, unless it's in small doses, it's fine because you can still go out, have a little bit of fun, take them for a ride, do some spins. You are, however, going to get wet. You're more likely to fall in the drink anytime you t try and do any small tricks based around the stability. So, that is one of the three issues with having a passenger on the back. First one is stability. Anytime it's less than perfect conditions, um, the stability gets very, very wobbly. Second one is the takeoff. You end up basically doing a wheelie because they've got heaps of weight on the back. And the third one is the length of the seat. So if you are looking at taking a second person, either look at a three up, so you've got that extra uh, room on the ski, or possibly look at a different ski. Apart from that, these skis are still absolutely fantastic for a single rider, I absolutely love it. But, um, that's my review on two adults anyway. Hopefully it's helped. If you have any other questions, as per usual, just drop them below and I'll get back to you. Hit the subscribe button, because this is episode three. I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all on the way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out.